All right, so really quick guys, before I install this last hub on my truck, I wanna make a video just showing it side by side and how it looks and all. So this is the new hub that I have. And this is from WFO or from Brett Stryker. They both, you know, make them, well, Brett makes them for WFO. Anyway, so this is the factory one, of course. This is the aftermarket one. And as you can see, uh, there is an extra piece of material here, which is gonna make your truck water or make your wheels offset more. So this is a lot better. This is way, way better. So the stock one uses like a little clip thing that goes in here that locks this to the truck. And they, these get really loose after a while. And I don't like them. They make your, uh, make this piece move around on the truck, which is, which I don't like that at all. So this is no good. This is aluminum and plastic. This is steel. So this is what you would get from WFO or from Brett. And it's really cool because this piece attaches to this with a screw and use a uh, a four mil. You pull this off and look at this, look how sweet this is. There's a chamfered end on it, I believe that's what it's called. And this is, this, this kind of half of it gets pressed in once you screw it in because it's, it's, it's uh, you know, chamfered or whatever. Anyway, so WFO and Brett also sell water adapters. So they make a 10, a 16, and a 19. And all you want to do is if you, if you want to change it out, you just pull that screw off and pop that off. And then get your 16 or your 19, pop it on, and put the screw back in. So really sweet. A lot more durable than this. And also, it comes with this uh, wheel nut, which is this is from Brett. Uh, this don't match my truck, so I, my truck's you know a lot of black, a lot of black and orange. So I'm gonna put my Mad Max one back on, and it, it does fit. It's really nice. So super sweet. It's about a hundred bucks, I think, a uh, hundred and ten or whatever for all this right here, for this and this whatever. It's, 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 it does seem a little high, but it's well worth it. This is a lot stronger. I'm gonna test it out for sure and see if it's stronger, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be stronger. So really quick, to, to show you how heavy this, this, stuff, this stuff is. So this is the stock piece. Let's get this on here too. So we got, what, 16 grams. All right. This is the aftermarket one. Look at that. It is heavier, but you're gaining a lot of strength. So anyway, I just want to make a little video or whatever and show you guys, you know, this little kit. I like it. I mean, I'm not getting paid to do this or anything. I just figured I'd make a little video. I like showing people what's good, what ain't good. And I think this is a pretty good kit. So heck yeah, I like it. Hit up WFO or Brett Stryker to get this little kit. I like it this week.